good, the bad, the ugly. So the good, city council meetings on Zoom. You know, it's really nice that uh, government does continue to operate and there is a little bit of transparency that happens when the city council is there on the Zoom and, you know, we're able to uh, watch or watch at a different time, maybe an hour later, two hours later, that, that city council meeting and kind of see what's going on. It's fun to have the little, uh, the little chat box there next to the, so that people can chime in and, and snipe at the people and uh, make fun of them and, you know, all the fun things that go on in uh, local government politics. Um, but the bad is city council meetings on Zoom. It used to be you could show up and you'd sit on these really hard, uncomfortable benches and you could sit there for two, three, four hours waiting to you know, see what someone said or, or you know, decide if you maybe wanted to chime in at some point in the public comment section. Um, and the council people were there and you knew that they were present because we've all been on Zoom meetings where you look like you're present but maybe you're not or you've got a shirt on but no pants or you know, even some of these council people, I don't know, sometimes they look like they're going to the beach or they're at the beach. You know, here I am at home, you're working, my council person's at the beach, they're at their upstate home, you know, they're anywhere but in the town where they're actually supposed to be interacting with the people who elected them. So the bad thing is that, you know, the council people can be everywhere but where they really need to be. And, uh, you know, I, I think that, and then it can be checked out as well. Uh, so they don't have to necessarily listen to the public portion. They can be on their phones. They can be doing something else and just kind of pretend like we've all done it. They might even be answering emails on their computer at the same time. So that's the bad. And, you know, the ugly part of it is that these council meetings, they make laws. You know, they, they, they approve budgets, they make laws, they do a lot of different things. Um, but there's never really a condensed version of, hey, what's going on in today's council meeting? The people in the know, know, and no one else does. Like, hey, what really are we discussing today? What's that real big hot button topic? What are those little things? What's, what's going on beforehand? Uh, yeah, they publish an agenda, but the agenda is, it always changes, it's last minute, and you know there's a lot of legalese in there that you really have to dig through and then on the back end what's been approved so there's laws that are being made there's changes to the laws you know to the codes and yet there's not really a summary of hey this is what's been approved in layman's terms whether it's uh, the way a sidewalk is the way a building gets done whether there's a fine for something whether there's a different process there's never like that repository of this is what was approved this week or this month or this year. So now you know the new laws um, as they come out. So that's really the ugly, is that we all sit there, unless you're in the know, you're in the complete darkness. Back to the black box we talked about with the mortgage and the buying and selling process. So today's inspirational quote for you from LBJ, since we are coming up on election time, is that People do not come out to vote for a U.S. Senator. They come out to vote for the sheriff or the county commissioner. You know, maybe this year that might be a little bit different, but politics are local. The, the person that you vote for, for freeholder, whatever that is, um, probably has more influence on your overall quality of life while you live here than, you know, a, uh, a congressman or a senator or a president although that's what we tend to focus on uh, as we're coming up to the elections. So if there is a local election um, for something that you're in, you, I suggest that you get a little bit more knowledgeable about the people who are running and you know how to best uh, find that person that's gonna suit your needs going forward.